We choose to go to the moon in this decade. Less than seven years after President John F. Kennedy uttered those words, the United States space program put a man on the moon. The story of America's moon quest is a successful tale of vision, courage, and dynamic technological innovation. It's also one of politics. When John F. Kennedy made his first speech about landing a man on the moon in May 1961, another country was actually ahead of the United States in space exploration. That country was the Soviet Union. In October 1957, the Soviet Union launched Sputnik, the world's first artificial satellite into space. Less than four years later, the Soviets became the first nation to send a man into space. Already in the midst of the Cold War, the two nations now had a new front for their battle, space. In 1961, astronaut Alan Shepard became the first American to travel into space. The following year, John Glenn orbited Earth three times in five hours. Over the next eight years, in a project dubbed the Apollo Program, NASA worked toward the goal of sending three astronauts to the moon and back. The program had its share of tragedy. In 1967, a fire aboard the first Apollo spacecraft killed all three astronauts, including Virgil Gus Grissom, one of the original Mercury astronauts. But on July 20th, 1969, all the hard work and sacrifices paid off. Apollo 11 successfully delivered two people to the surface of the moon for the first time in history. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for man. In the decades since the Apollo missions, the space program has had many more successes and also some tragedies, including the loss of two shuttles and their crews, Challenger in 1986 and Columbia in 2003. But despite these heartbreaking disasters, NASA continues to advance an aggressive space program and to push the limits of aerospace technology just as they did in the 1960s during the heat of the space race.